Today we're going to be demonstrating how to convert the mechanical controller on a P1 PD series pump. Uh, we'll be working with the latest B mod version of the control, uh, which has been updated and improved versus the uh, previous A mod controls. Uh, these latest controls have the ability to be quickly and easily modified to fit your customer's application, and uh, they're no longer rotation dependent like the previous A mod version. Uh, to complete these conversions, you'll need only a few items. Uh, you're going to need, obviously, the base control. Uh, you're going to need the service manual, which is located online. Uh, you're going to need the corresponding conversion kits. And you're going to need uh, SA wrenches, uh, SA Allen hex keys, and torque control, or torque, torque wrench. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you how to convert your LO or L2 control to an AM. Um, if you're starting with an L2 control like I am here, uh, you're going to need to replace the orifice that's located between the differential stage and the pressure compensator stage with the plug. Um, everything you need to do this conversion is included in kit number S2E 20464-0K. So. Inside the kit, we're going to have a few different items. We will have some instructions and the mechanical components. The instructions are for all of the different um, conversions you could possibly do. So we're going to look through here until we find our L2 to an AM control. to the AM control. I'll set that aside and use that as a guideline. So what we're going to be removing is here on the left and what we're going to be adding is here on the right. So since we're in L2, we're going to be removing the spool, the plug, that sits, or that orifice that sits between the differential and the pressure compensator stage, and we're going to be removing um, the plug inside of the body itself. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this plug from inside the differential stage and replace it with an orifice that's in this kit. So using the inch and a quarter wrench, you'll loosen this and remove the pressure adjustment assembly. We'll set that to the side. And down in the body, you're going to see two holes. And it's a two and a half millimeter Allen head. One is open and the other actually has the Allen in it. So we're gonna connect to the Allen and remove it. see we have removed the plug and we're going to replace it with an orifice. So there's an orifice and a plug with a new spool in this kit. So there's a spool. This is our plug and then this is our orifice. So that's what we're going to be inserting down here, our orifice. pressure adjustment, the pressure compensator adjustment assembly back into the body. And tighten that down to the specs in the service catalog. So the next thing we're going to need to do since we're converting from an L2 is we need to get this differential or this bleed down orifice removed and plugged with the supplied plug in the kit. 
So we're going to take the differential pressure adjustment stage out. And set it off to the side. And using a three millimeter Allen, let's remove this vent plug here. We're going to be able to access the orifice between the two ports. Again, if you have an LO control, you will not need to do this portion. The LO has this plug already in position. This is just if you're starting with an L2 control. Okay. And there is the orifice. We'll set it to the side. Here's the plug to replace that. Head and insert. tighten. So the plug is now in place. So last thing we need to do is actually remove the spool, the differential spool, and replace it with a new spool. So I'm going to the spool to come out. So there is the old spool. And I'm going to take the new spool and insert it with the flat end down the body. And it should just fall right in there very low resistance. Once the spool is in, I'm now going to take the differential pressure adjustment with the seat for the spool. I insert that into the compensator body. We'll then tighten this to the specs in the service catalog. Now you are ready to take this control to your pump. Mount it onto the pump and set your pressure. So with the correct kit and a little time, it's easy to convert any of the P1, PD, B mod controls to any one of the other available options. This flexibility adds to the pump ability to meet your customer's demand quickly and efficiently. Thank you for watching.